Hello, this is MichaelJ101, and I really apologize for um, not making a video in a while. I've been really busy lately with school and everything, lots of homework, so um, not had much time to do anything lately. Um, so that's why I haven't had a video out. Um, but I have run my Sterling engine for about three hours, three to four hours probably. I ran it for about an hour today. Um, but it had a failure. So, well, actually, um, first, it it has put out... Um, I've gotten it up to 1.2 watts, probably a little bit over that at times, um, but 1.2 watts is the maximum um, constant output. Um, and today, though, it wasn't running very well. Um, I got it up to 1.2 watts at one point, um, but it wasn't up there very long I, because it's falling apart. Um, so I think the displacer is all, either the steel wool is all coming apart, or... Well, actually, right now, what failed is I think that the little um, um, wire connector that I have on the end fell off um, because it's not connected anymore. So I've got to take it apart and fix that. Um, and it's due for a um, due for me to take it apart. This will be the first time to take it apart just to make sure everything's um, nothing's wearing inside or rubbing too much. So um, I got to check that out, um, but yeah, it runs very well. Um, I would have made a run video if it wouldn't have just failed, but after I fix it, I'll make a quick run of it. I think if I get it running better. Um, so yeah, let's take it apart. So I just got to take these screws out here, and the displacer cam will come right off. So I'll try to do this in live or in um, real time. So. If I don't have to cut the video and everything, and I have not, I, it's still pretty hot. I have not um, loosened the screws or anything like that. So, it could also be due to the fact, or the um, drop in performance also could be due to the fact that there could be oil or water getting inside the displacer. So, I'm also going to check that out just to see what else is going on. But, yeah. Um, the water pump also does not seem to be working very well. Um, that could be because the diaphragm is so large that it doesn't let the pressure get up very high. And the diaphragm, or the water pump, somewhat needs a highish pressure in order to actually pump water. So sometimes, after a couple of minutes of running, I have to um, lift the can up, the can that has the cold water in it, up a little bit so that it um, has enough pressure to get good circulation of water because it only trickles really slowly um, through the displacer with the pump running. So I think that the displacer is stealing all the power from the um, water pump because it can't get much pressure. Um, a couple of you mentioned that this is not enough leverage or the um, the diaphragm is not getting enough leverage but actually that is the optimum place right there I have tried multiple other places and I have not been able to get any more power with those other places so that right there is where I get 1.2 watts um, but it depends on what temperature you're running at if you're running at a slightly higher temperature then you'll want to move that up a little bit to get maximum performance out of it and if you move it down, you can get a run it off a much lower temperature. So, but yeah, take this off. Okay, my screws up there. reach that one screw there. The screwdriver is just a little too long, I think. Yeah. It's right underneath the diaphragm. Kind of in a hard, reach, hard place to reach. Um, the kind of oil that I'm using on the um, push rod is actually um, 
bar and chain oil, which is for chainsaws. Because um, it seemed like a good, it was, it's like a gear oil pretty much, I think. It's, a, it's not too thick, but it's not too thin either. So, and I was out of motor oil too, so that's what I normally use, but I'm out of that, so I need to get some somewhere. Yeah, I just can't, this screwdriver is just like, just a little bit too long to fit under there. Now I actually did find that there is a tiny pinhole leak in the solder joint over, oh, where was it? I think it was here and over here somewhere. There's a tiny pinhole leak and it leaks water, so I should fix that sometime. I mean, it's not big, but does make a little pool there after a while of running. Let's see if I can get this screw out now by hand. There we go. One more screw. Lots of oil all over everything. I thought about building a little like um, a cup thing or funnel around the, um, the push rod there for oil, but I think that if I did that, too much oil would go to, into the displacer and it would probably <coughs> fill it up after a while. <coughs> so there, yep, it fell off. So let's see. Let's get this into the camera frame here. So here's our seal. Looks fine. Not too much rust on there or anything like that. Let's get the displacer out. Yep, so it fell off. It's not too badly corroded. Oh my goodness. That is worse than I expected. Look at that. The bottom... So the bottom part... Let me get the camera off the stand here. Alright, so this is what happened. So this used to be, there used to be one of those on the bottom, and it's made out of aluminum, it's the bottom of a can, and it looks like it totally disintegrated. Absolutely, totally, t t look at that, it's, it's gone. <laughs> that's all that's left of it. Melted aluminum. <laughs> so I think that's my problem then. It's simply just that that melted away. And that's why I was probably losing performance, because this was slowly coming off and it was probably just held on by the screw. I had thought that this um, connector there came off but it hadn't so hmm I guess I'm gonna have to figure out something else to make that out of aluminum. It's not high enough temperature but I had this glowing pretty good when I was getting half a watt out so probably didn't like that too much doesn't look too rusty in there holding it pretty well I think Let me pop this off get it off some of the way I probably shouldn't set that on the floor it's gonna get all scratched up try to just one hand not too corroded, just the bottom there, the some sort of coatings coming off. It's actually dented in the middle there. Huh. Might have to bend that back. Well, maybe I'll just leave it like that. Yeah, there's not any, there's not a lot of wear in there. Just a little bit from the steel wool rubbing up against the side. But this is actually really compacted down. That should be a lot. Um, that should be about half of this. And that's only about, oh, that's like nearly a quarter of it. So that's probably our main problem. This got squished down because it was falling off. It's got some pretty good heat damage to it. <laughs> but, yeah, so somewhat catastrophic failure there. Totally melted it. <laughs> I would not, ha I did not expect that. 
Hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to fix that sometime. It's kind of charred looking. Probably from oil getting... Yeah, it looks like oil. Probably oil residue. Probably oil would drip down here, and then that would get <clears throat> soaked into here. And when I'd start it up, it would probably burn off and then leave the residue up there. Well, not really burn off, just kind of, yeah, kind of burn off. So, um, I don't know what else to say. It looks like I'm not going to get it running tonight. <laughs> so, um, I guess that's about it for now. So, um, stay tuned for another video of it running, um, or fixing it or something like that. So, um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.